Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to talk about putting a sling on a Caltech Sub 2000 folding rifle. This is my Sub 2000. This particular one I like because it accepts Glock magazines. This is my Glock 19 9mm and the same magazines that fit in my Glock also fit in this particular Caltech Sub 2000. Uh, you can also get a Caltech Sub 2000 that accepts uh, 40 Smith & Wesson magazines. But today I want to talk about installing a sling on the Sub 2000. All right, the sling that you can get from Caltech actually attaches here at the pivot point and it attaches in this slot right here. All right, therefore it is a carry only sling. And it works similar to this sling that I have installed here. It's the way you carry it. But I like to use a sling also for shooting purposes. And if you ever want to learn how to use the sling properly, I recommend Appleseed Project. I recommend that you come to one of our weekend marksmanship uh, classes. Very affordable. I'm actually an instructor in training for Appleseed. But as you can see, rather than apply the sling at the pivot point, I've applied the sling here and I've also made a point to apply the sling here. And I've actually drilled a hole here and I drilled a hole here and installed the sling bases and that way you can use the sling to hold the rifle for shooting. And at Appleseed we also teach the loop sling so we like to take off this part of the sling, make the loop, put the loop on the support arm with the hardware facing outward of course. And we use the loop sling when the support arm is supported such as in prone or sitting position. But now what I want to do is go over the procedure that I used to make the sling bases at these two locations. This is what comes with most sling mounting kits. You have a wood screw and you have a machine screw. I actually need two machine screws and so I had to purchase two sling kits. Here are the machine screws. I also used some additional washers. This is where I mounted the sling on this piece right here. I had to drill a hole. This is what it looks like after it's mounted. And here's the other end of the rifle. Here's the fore end sling mount. I taking the rifle apart, you can see how I mounted it. I drilled a hole through this plastic piece, installed a washer on the other side. Now this ledge right here is what holds this piece in the rifle. And I think it would be perfectly satisfactory. However, I wanted the extra support, so I used a nail to prevent this type of movement. It's, as you can see, I install a piece of a nail right here. And then what that does is it supports the swivel base here against this type of movement. Got 
here's the ledge right here which prevents this movement but I wasn't satisfied with this support being supported only by that little piece of plastic and that's the reason I used the nail in here now I took the nail and I cut it off with a hacksaw and I wrapped a piece of black plastic tape around it so that I could wedge it in here snugly and then as you can see once the rifle is put together this will prevent this type of movement which just adds an additional amount of support to this sling base Okay, here's the other end and what I did was I drilled a hole right through here there's another view of it drilled a hole right through here and I used the Dremel tool to round out this hole so that I could apply the sling base in the manner that you see here I also had to trim off the machine screw with the hacksaw I cut off the machine screw. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.